Hello everyone, my name is John Bastavros and welcome to episode 3 of my Amp 2 Let's Play. You saw last time we went to the Breckenridge Slope, which was a pretty um, nuanced and overall more complex mountain than, than the first one. Had some pretty interesting challenges in it that were um, a little incons- I had a bit of an inconsistent run through it, but they were- this was overall another doable level that kind of teaches you a little bit more about the game than the first one did. Um, now we're going to go to the Event 1 level. Um, you'll see Best Finish 8th. That's because, again, my Xbox temperamental. On an earlier attempt of this, it, it crashed. But um, anyway, the, 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 the Event level is... Event 1, this slope is going to be very different from the first, two, uh, the first two levels in that it's pretty much a contest. It's not just a slope that you can ride down. Uh, and do whatever you want it. Uh, you are going to be... It's a contest where you compete against seven other real-life professional snowboarders. Um, and you will be ranked across four separate categories in three runs. Uh, and those four categories are overall highest score, overall highest media score, just like the, the free runs from Millicent and Breckenridge. Um, and the highest combo and the highest uh, single trick score, like non-combo score that you can get. Um, and your aggregate ranking across all four of these categories is what determines your overall placement among the eight uh, players. And if you finish in third place or better, you see our best finish is eighth, but if you place third or better, you advance and you unlock the mountains that come after. So anyway, that's how the events work and I'm explaining it beforehand so that you can kind of see a bit of a more fluid gameplay rather than, you know, the choppy, inconsistent nature of me trying to explain as I'm playing it. So we're going to do the three ring circus run, and you'll kind of, you'll kind of just see my favorite line that I take, and um, let's get started. That was, this is, these events are just really a lot of fun to do. Like, it's just nice to ride down them and just do tricks wherever you can. In the limited amount of time that you have, you can see we also have a limited, a limited time amount. If you run out, you can't trick anymore and whatever you've done up to that point is what counts. But, um, yeah. This first one is really easy, actually. You can kind of beat it pretty much with only one... You can pretty much beat it with only one trick. Uh, like maybe just like a massive grind off to this side, because there's also this area right here. Big ass grind, just like that. And there you go, we kind of have everything we need. Ah, that's not enough, okay. But we already have everything we need. There's, there's one thing that's also worth mentioning is that the AI opponents that you see here, um, they pretty, they are, their movements and the scores that they get are 100% scripted. Um, so you can pretty much calculate what you need based off of that. Um, nothing in, nothing particularly crazy about it either. And in the first level, they pretty much, they don't do anything particularly hard to, that's particularly hard to beat, like, media can be beaten with just one, with just one trick like that, um, you can get, like, a really small combo, like this, 
I mean, not that small, but you get the idea. Maybe even more stylish rail would have would have gotten the job done, but. Uh, Oh, come on. I literally got a sick landing off of that. I buttered and that caused me to crash. But anyway, that first run is pretty much my preferred line that I take down the... that I take down the mountain. And it's a pretty fun line to take because you have these, like, jump after jump and it's just... Okay, that AI opponent decided to be evil and destroy my run, but that's okay. I didn't miss the guy. Okay, and that's the end of free runs. And I got first place on everything, as you can clearly see. Kind of uh, really easy to beat these guys. Seth Hewitt, like you see, these are the pros that you race against in these in this event. Their scores are relic are pretty easy to beat in this first one. It's like I, I went all out, just tried to trick wherever I could, and ended up getting it done pretty easily. But I mean, the combo especially, I just obliterated that one. But it gets a lot harder as the game goes on to beat these scores. You have to think beforehand what sort of things you'll need, especially for the final one, because the final level of the game is one of these events, and it's the event that gets you to rank number one. Um, but now that we've beaten this one, we are a shop rider, no longer just a um, just a, a, a pro-am person. And we now have unlocked the pro challenges, which are another new thing that we need to earn. We've also unlocked some board skill points, which are similar to the normal skill points, but they're different in that they're different in that you can you you can adjust them wherever you want. Like with the normal skill points, the spin flip and big air adjustments I put in in the first two levels are permanent. I will have those forever. Whereas with balance, I can put these in here now and take them away and put them in switch, for example. So like that, that you can adjust them however you want, Make, making Amped a little bit more optimization based than the other games, than than other uh, extreme sports games. But um, yeah, this is something that a lot of people kind of overlook. They do this as more permanent skill points. So they never really adjust them uh, per se. But yeah, for now we're gonna put these into balance, uh, and we've unlocked Seth Hewitt's bio video because he is the the pro that is ranked number one among the other pros we're facing, and if we beat number one in this event, we unlock his bio video, so we've also unlocked two more levels, but we're not going to go to those quite yet. We're going to go back and complete a couple of the things we haven't yet been able to do in Millicent 1 and Breckenridge. So, the final main challenge that we can't, that we need to do are the pro challenges, where you um, follow a, a real-life professional snowboarder down the mountain and try to um, mimic their tricks. Well, not mimic their tricks, but, like, try to do better than them. Um, like, you'll see it here. We're going to ride down with Jason Murphy, and the object hey, is to... I got the best line over here. Let's go check it. You just got to... You gotta just do better than the score they have up there. I can't believe you just pulled the... so, yeah, This is a really easy pro. That was and you get three misses. Like, you get two strikes. It's a three strikes and you're out you type situation. Um, you can miss up to two. And this is the last no. trick you need to beat this, otherwise you will fail. And the reason for that, as far as I can work out, is you want to finish your run... You want to finish your run against the pro standing tall and proud, having punctuated it with a, a sick trick. So we've beaten that pro, and for the first pro, we we unlock um, we unlock the palm grab, which is essentially a, a way to tr to tweak out the melon grab that we showed off in Millicent One. So at the start of the game, there's a lot of tweak grabs that we can't do, 
Um, and by beating these pro challenges, we can unlock them. Um, so that, that that's how the pro events work. I mean, there are better ways of explaining it, but um, uh, and that's those are the those are the, that's the the pro challenge in, in those events, and that's the contest pretty much. Really easy contest for the most part. And this one, apparently you... Actually, wait, I should probably explain. To get to access the pro challenges, you need to beat both the sponsor and the photo shoot beforehand. So it's the last thing you're capable of doing. But you need to do these things, for sure. And this one is pretty much an exercise in spinning. Okay, I missed that one. You can jump. Straight up beat, you say. Okay. Epic. Okay, I, I got a sketchy landing. Okay, I, ha I got three misses there, so you gotta go back to the beginning. But you can tell from the scores that this guy gets that they're... This is pretty much just an exercise in, like, very normal... Like spins or flips without doing any grabs. Um, that's at least one thing I've noticed. And it's also really important when you do these pros to know what tricks give you uh, what amount of points. Okay, the fact that I pulled that off is pretty crazy. But... Okay. So, we got that. It's another just simple corkscrew, and we got to be stomped it, in fact. Now let's just blow this one out of the water. Okay, well, I missed the last trick because I slowed down a little bit, but... As I was saying, you kind of need to know, like, what a basic trick can give you. Okay, I got two misses. Alright, there we go. Now we got it. So th those are the pro challenges. We beat the pro and... You owned it, bro. Thanks for that. So we unlocked two tweaks for the melon grab. We unlocked the palm grab, which is the right trigger, and the crooked cop, which is the left trigger. Um, and we also unlocked locks one. So we now have three levels to go go back to. But um, we're not, we're not going to go straight into Bear Mountain just yet. We just wanted to show off the event level... And the things we weren't able to access in the previous two levels, but now we can. Um, and that's pretty much all the new things we need to introduce. So now, starting with Bear Mountain 1, we can get to the more nuanced things that other people who have played the game may not have mentioned as much. But, um, yeah, that's those are the that's the event 1. Um, that's the first event level. A really easy level, it has to be said. But, um... And honestly, a pretty good break from uh, the regular slopes, especially as it get, as it as it's later in the game. It's a nice way of changing up the pace. But um, that's it for this episode. We'll be going to Bear Mountain One next. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Hope you leave a like and a comment, maybe even subscribe. And see you guys next time.